I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars so basically with this video we just want to share a few things we've learned and we're going to do it based off a few countries we've been to. With footage you've never seen before. The first sequence is going to be from Lebanon and it's a castle we went to. Lebanon's special to us because it's where we first met. A couple years after we met we also got engaged there. And then it was the first country we moved to as married people. This whole video making process for me has just been kind of a reminder of how much of life I've forgotten. And I think a lot of people can probably relate to that looking at old photos and videos. Well, kind of like Justin was saying in terms of being lazy, I think there's times when we're doing, when we're on a trip and we're vlogging and it's just kind of annoying to like have to be holding a camera when I'm also like trying to give directions at the same time. But then after the matter, when you're looking at all this footage later, what you remember more is actually like the positive memories about the place or whatever happened, not the things that might have been annoying in the moment. So the lesson that I learned through this is that you probably, you should take videos and photos um, to remember life just because our memories are actually really bad and we forget a lot of things, even things that happened like six to seven months ago. So in this Lebanon sequence, basically we went to a castle and then another castle and then we went swimming. Just got up, something's wrong. I waited up, wounds on my feet. Just thought we should document that we were at this castle. We're at this castle. The memories, the Polaroids, yellowed in the sun. Longing to be seen in the middle. So come and hide, hide. This is Siding Castle. Today we just went to visit this. We went to see a castle. It wasn't that good, and this castle was cool. Now we're gonna go to a beach. So one year ago we came to this castle here. I mean, six months ago we came to this castle. Whoa, look at that place. That is so cool. The key relationships is doing things with other people. <laughs> Alright, so it was locked. We might not be able to go. <laughs> so today's just been full of failures. Now we're back. Because it's open. Musaila Fort. Moon is full, stars are bright. I called you up just to hear your voice on the machine. Nothing will be like it was, but it will always be my first choice. Just as made to this castle is just a little update. This place was built maybe in 1500s, but they said probably 17th, <laughs> probably 17th century. There's no wind in here and I didn't bring a mic. Anyway, so just go look around a bit and call it, call it a day.
So the next sequence you're gonna see is from Korea, one of our favorite countries. Mm, because of Korean barbecue. Korea 사랑해. 한국말 많이 알아요. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Ne? So with this next video, basically it's a sequence we shot in Korea with Cohen's sister Tan and we, I never edited it together. I think one of the things I learned from that time and looking back at the footage now was basically how much more fun traveling is or doing things is with other people, with a few other friends. Having a friend there often gives you a different perspective on the whole situation. So it was, yeah, it was just really fun hanging out with Tan. And again, I mean, this footage is from a moment where I wasn't feeling super motivated to shoot a whole vlog. And I just captured a few clips so I think I also learned like I, I should just really go all out if I am going to start shooting something. I wish I would have at least got a little bit more context to the situation that was going on. I really think having context makes a sequence so much better. Well, one of the things that I learned is, it's going to sound really superficial at first, but it's that I always regret cutting my hair. Because when my hair is super short, I'm always like, oh man, I wish I missed my long hair. And when my hair is long, I'm always like, oh, I gotta go get a haircut. And that's also how I feel about traveling a lot of the times. Um, I always wish I was there, not here. Um, I think when you look at old photos or old videos, you're like, oh, you know, those were the good times. Or when you're like stuck in a place, you're always thinking about like, oh, what's happening next. I think it's just a good reminder to appreciate whatever's happening here and now versus what could be happening over there and then, whether it's in the past or like then in the future. So let's jump into this Korean sequence. Well done. Yeah, I didn't film any of it. <laughs> I think this is working better now. Yeah. Uh, Korea was awesome, we loved that time there, but now we're in Kenya. We moved here about two months ago. One of the things I learned from this next sequence is basically that I'm really thankful for the other work we have, because YouTube doesn't make us enough money to survive off, only about 50 bucks a month. Uh, but our other work allows us to go places, like this hotel called Dusit, which is one of the nicest hotels in Nairobi. Let's jump into this Kenyan Dusit hotel pool footage. So today we're at this red pool at Dusit. So cool.
All right, so that was all the footage. Thanks you guys for watching. We really appreciate everyone that subscribed to us in the last couple of months. Honestly, it's it's so, we're so thankful because your subscription really makes our channel something more than just something fun. We hope that people are enjoying the worldview we're sharing, um, how we see the different countries we go to, and hopefully people get a different perspective on the places we've seen and been to. Okay, hopefully that was good. Uh, yeah. I'm still recording.